What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video we're going to be creating some fancy 2D plans in Revit and they're actually going to be rendered 2D plans and if you have been using Revit for any length of time you probably know that it's a, a bit of a task to create renderings of 2D plans. Well actually it's impossible using the standard settings but I'm going to show you a bit of a workaround to get to that. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. And as you can see over here, I'm in Revit and this is the project that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Now this is my school studio project uh, that I'm uh, doing currently and uh, if you're interested, I can do actually a video on, on this project. It's kind of in a modern office building, uh, like a office hub, if you will. But anyway, it, it, it looks uh, it's got a lot of these elements and I think it looks cool but you be the judge and I, I like to represent all of this but when I go and create some some views so maybe if I scroll down here and go into these elevations let's see yeah when you go to elevation it's it's just so boring and wrong and even if we eliminate all of these annotations and you would do that by going into VG so just type in VG for visibility graphics and then here for annotations you can just uncheck them and hit apply as you can see it looks uh, kind of boring and if we, even if we add shadows yeah it gives it a bit of depth but again boring and if I change the visual style to something like shaded okay this is terrible consistent colors nothing really better and if we go to realistic uh, here's the problematic part now I uh, sometimes realistic works but whenever you have trees and stuff like that as you can see it looks just like poor Photoshop it it just doesn't uh, represent your your project in a way it sh you you want it to be represented so uh, I I found a workaround around this to to create a rendering so if you go here to ray trace you would see that it doesn't have an option for ray trace and if you double tap R uh, you get that uh, lovely noise can we hear it again yeah it doesn't allow me to render and here if I go to view and go to render as you can see we can't render okay so the problem is uh, we can't render 2d plans so how do you go go around that well let's go here to the 3d view and now we can spin around go to this front side and as you can see we've got the same view and here we can actually go and turn on ray trace and let's cancel out of that and if we wait for a second it should start rendering and one more thing when you're in 3d uh, even if you have like these 2d plans uh, it's going to have transparent uh, glass so that's that's great and as you can see it looks a lot better it doesn't have any line work so it looks a lot more realistic than that uh, that 2d plan so let me cancel uh, ray trace so just go here to close wait for a second it's usually harder than the computer okay so now let's try a rendering so I'm just going to go here to uh, to the property panel and uh, just turn on uh, crop view and crop region visible hit apply and now just try to crop this 3d view in such a way that you uh, grab your building only and here because this is an elevation I I don't want to see my uh, my garage just the the floor okay so this looks all right and then we can bring this down a bit maybe pull it in on the sides a bit kind of like that just adjust everything so it looks right okay so now we're ready to render so I'm just going to double tap R for render and here let's leave the settings at medium and this at printer uh, but here for the style I like to do sky with few clouds now if you want to have a white background uh, you can just go here to color and set it just to white or go here and then uh, you will have a white background but what I prefer to do is to have just a few clouds and uh, it looks a bit more realistic so if we go here to render and as you can see we're going to get a cool little uh, rendering of our 2d view now once this is finished rendering let's just wait for another second Okay, you can make, of course, additional changes. Just go here to adjust exposure. 
and then maybe make it I don't know maybe make it a bit brighter if you want just be careful like you want to move this like less than a millimeter and it, it makes a big change like if you go by uh, a big distance as you can see this is what you get so like completely dark is black and completely bright is white so you want to be somewhere in the middle and just fine tune it and then you get your view and of course here we can change maybe I like to have maybe something warmer for this one yeah something like this but okay that's how you create a 2d elevation but what do you do if you want to create a 2d section so for a 2d section let's just flip to the other side so i'm just going to click this button and as you can see it flipped my uh, my project and uh let's go here i've got i've got actually a 3d section that i've created and if you want to check that out how do you create 3d sections where is it it's one of these yeah so this is the 3D section I created, and this was really cool, but it's not a plan view. So professors were kind of annoyed with that. So let me try to create something that's not a plan view. That's actually a plan view or a 3D or a 2D view, but I want to have a realism as I do here in this perspective view. So let's go back to our 3D view, and this is what we have. And uh, now in order to basically create our section we need to scroll a bit over here and find section box turn it on and you're going to get this uh, new rectangle and when you select it you get this little drag points uh, now uh, to adjust this you have to select it here in this elevation then scroll and go to some of the plan views for example site plan and in this case I can't really see it so okay so now uh, what I need to do is I need to uh, let's see yeah I need to go here to the 3d view select this and then go to one of the plan views okay for some reason it isn't keeping the selection so maybe what we can do we can kind of flip it around and then just cut through it okay this is an easier way to do it yeah so you just go like this and you kind of cut through your your section or to your plan and then you go here and go completely to the left go back here and as you can see now it's actually cutting through the building okay it's a very specific building so it doesn't look like it's being cut through but if we flip it around you're going to see that here we lost half of the building so let's go back to the plan view to go to the left okay and now once we have this maybe we can extend this just a bit upward okay so this is the uh, 2d view and maybe bring this up a bit to the ground like that okay this seems to be working okay now uh, let's uh, just adjust the crop just a bit more and of course now we can render so just go double R render let's keep the same uh, settings and let's hit render of course wait for a second And there you go so now we have this 2d rendering of our building and again we can go here and adjust exposure and as you can see these trees look a, a lot more realistic and everything looks a lot more realistic than in just a section where you would gonna uh, adjust it to realistic but let's cancel out of this and finally for uh, for our third view let's do a floor plan so for a floor plan now uh, this uh, crop view is kind of annoying so let's turn it off for now okay and uh, let's adjust this section box so just extend it again for the section box if you want to see it you need to check it over here in the properties panel okay and now let's select the top one and bring it uh, down so we're getting like a 2d uh, 2d floor plan so let's adjust it kind of like that okay let's see say this works for us and now let's just go here to the top and as you can see it flips to the top and the problem with trees when doing this they're going to render really bad because the trees in Revit are kind of these 2D uh, elements so try to find some 3D trees for this and now when I render you're going to see what the problem is but uh, again this looks all right now I'm just going to turn on crop region visible uh, always turn on crop region when rendering because it's going to create a too large of a file and it's going to take forever to render so let's do it like this 
Okay, so once everything is adjusted for our floor plan rendering, just hit top one more time to make sure that everything is uh, everything is parallel. Okay, so now we can render. So just hit double R and hit render, and of course you're going to start rendering your floor plan. Now for floor plans, if you have as uh, as I do all white surfaces, it might look too bright. So we can adjust exposure, bring this down a bit. Oops wrong side yeah maybe a bit cooler yeah and uh, maybe for the highlights make them darker yeah and as you can see that's how you create your uh, 2d floor plans so that's how you go you just kind of go into your default 3d view your non-perspective 3d view and you play around with a section box to create your sections or floor plans and then you just spin around and use this view cube to get your elevations. So that's how you create uh, rendered 2D views using Revit. Okay, I hope that was uh, useful and if you want to learn how to do perspective 3D views, I'm going to be leaving some links in the description of this video, so make sure to check those out. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Okay, so that's pretty much it and I'll see you tomorrow.